Welcome back to the channel Metabolic Conditioning and this Shinbox Hip Mobility Tutorial. The Shinbox is a great functional pattern to work into any mobility routine. There's also some great variation exercises you can do with a kettlebell. This tutorial focus is initially on how to Shinbox without a kettlebell or weight before we progress onto it with a kettlebell. We're in the gym today, so I'll see you on the other side. Step one of this tutorial involves being on the floor and practicing the transition between different sides of the shin box. This is essentially called the windshield wiper. You can see the movement that you're going through is essentially a windscreen wiper movement. So I'm pushing up, coming out onto my hips, but to begin with, I want you to just stay with your bum on the floor throughout. And we're gonna progress from this into a more detailed version of the tutorial. Now I'm going to set you up on the floor for the full shin box functional pattern. Set your second leg by facing behind with your front leg uh, sat across the front. You'll be pushing out from your hips forward, up and out. So you really want to, all the, all the pushing needs to come from your hips, a little bit from your abs, really from your glutes. And look to get the movement as smooth and as slow as you possibly can. Doing it in a more controlled, slow motion is uh, a lot more difficult than trying to do it quickly. Then we're gonna try the same same movement pattern on the other side. You might find that one of your hips is uh, stronger and it's easier than the other. So first of all, set yourself up on both planes, front leg and back leg, and gently push yourself through, looking to do it in the most controlled way. If you feel a little bit uncomfortable, just, just move your legs, just get them set up in a way that works for you, and works for the exercise, in a really controlled manner, up and down, up and down. Now, progressing to the shin box with a weight, I'm gonna show you two variations with the kettlebell. The first one is from a side position into a central press, pushing through the hips as you go up. I recommend starting with a uh, low weight to begin with and progressing from there. Now the second slightly more advanced version is a, uh, a full twist to the other side of the body. Uh, there's a reach out with this as well so having that weight at a distance uh, really works the core uh, as well as the hips through the exercise. I hope you found this how-to shin box tutorial helpful. If you have do give the video a like. Also consider checking out our functional patterns playlist along with our full length kettlebell workouts. Consider subscribing to the channel and have a great day.